bro. Let me pull this. <laughs> there it is. Um, let me mute. So we we have a lot to catch up on, I guess. Cuz I haven't watched these in a fucking while. <laughs> Uh, dude, Andy started doing like 20 minute fucking videos as well. So it's like, there's a whole lot to fucking unpack here. So should we start off with the twink? I mean, a lot of people seem to like <laughs> the twink, but yeah, I mean, we can do that. Yes. The twink. All right, we'll start off with the first one. <laughs> Are you? Oh shit! I'm gonna hit full screen. Sweetheart, you didn't take out the trash. All right, let me turn it up because it looks like it's too low. Dude, look at this kid. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> bro, is he wearing? All right, no, that's not a fucking collared shirt. I was about to say, is this motherfucker really sitting here in a collared shirt, fucking gray sweatpants, and fucking vans, dude? Jesus Christ. Man has no drip. Sweetheart, you didn't take out the trash last night. Oh, Alex! <laughs> I'm on blog TV with my fucking hands. No. Nah. The stupid bitch Alex is doing this shit. <laughs> Bruh. Good times. Oh shit, where'd my chat go? The fuck? It's Jackson Mummy with a two I'll watch Disaster Piece. You won't regret it. I'll take a look at it, man. I don't want to do it on a stream because it's probably copyrighted, right? Bruh. Ma wearing shoes inside a nice house. I don't know, man. I wear my shoes inside my house sometimes. Of course it's Fortnite. That's right. Gotta get those Vic Roy's. And look at the dog. It's like, why the fuck am I here? Get me the fuck out of here. You didn't take out the trash last night. Dumbass. Uh, I will later. The dog's like, get me the fuck away from this dude. Come on, honey. You know that's part of your chores. Yeah, Guys, headset not plugged in. Want to get paid? <sighs> Fine. Yo, hold up. This motherfucker gets paid to take out the trash. Dude, my parents just made me do a bunch of shit, and they're like, nah, you don't get paid. <laughs> we'll just take all your shit if you don't fucking do it. Damn, this bitch is literally, get, is literally complaining about having to take out the fucking trash. I don't know, man. What a pussy. Pay me first. You know, I wish someone would pay me for making breakfast. Why would anyone pay you? That's your job. <laughs> Bruh. Man wants to get paid for taking out the trash. But it's like, why would anyone pay you to cook breakfast, Mom? Are you fucking stupid? I'm like, Jesus Christ. Dude, these are some really fucking valuable life lessons. Dude, what the it's fuck is the eat. mom wearing? You know, like, those really, like, I guess corny-ass movies where it's, like, the dude fucks the chick, and then the next morning she's walking around in, like, his dress shirt or whatever? Why the fuck is the mom dressed like she just got fucked by some random dude in, like, some random house, and the only clothes that didn't have a fucking cum shot on them were his, like, work shirt? <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I don't get this shit at all. So, Abel with the two. Damn, I'm late. Have you seen the phase rug one? No, we haven't gotten to that one yet. Not yet. Come on, you can play games later. Okay, I'll uh, just bring it over here. I'm in the middle of the game. Alex, you didn't put the garbage bag in. You're distracting me. <sighs> what a fucking loser, bro. Thanks. What a retard. He can't talk and play video games at the same time. Why the fuck are you wearing a headset? <laughs> like, damn. 
Special Force 117 with the five. Can we watch Darman video about the Asian girl hating her own culture? Because it's going to be entertaining for sure. Bro, we watched that one previously before. But yeah, it's like word for word the same as the Mexican one. <laughs> like, except that the Mexican shit. one, the, the fucking son told his mom to go back to fucking Mexico. <laughs> like, that shit was fucking great. He was about to call the Border Patrol on his own fucking mom. She's cooking fried rice or whatever, and the girl goes, Oh my god, that fucking stinks. And it's like fucking fried rice or some shit. Thanks a lot, Mom. Well? I only get paid to take out the trash. If you want me to do that, then you're gonna have to pay me more. Alex! I'll pay you with this fucking you're... frying pan across your fu fucking cheek. That's what I would say, like, Jesus Christ. This is what happens when you don't beat your kids. Going to do something, you can't just do it halfway. Yeah, whatever. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh. <laughs> she really stepped on a fucking Lego? Is this kid fucking three? Oh my fucking god, dude. How fucking corny can this shit get? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Ooh. Ow. Oh. Who leaves a fucking random Lego in the middle of the kitchen? <laughs> like, what? Was he sitting on the floor and, like, fucking legs crossed playing with fucking Legos earlier? Like, what the fuck, dude? Special Force 117 with the two. I really wonder if kids are this entitled to IRL. Yeah, some are, but most are not. These are so fucking unrealistic. Why'd you leave your Legos on the floor? It's not a part of my chores. I'm supposed to take out the trash, clean my room, and take out Max. I don't get paid to clean the living room. Wait, uh, I can't afford ketchup? this shit! This motherfucker puts ketchup on his head. I can't afford Ugh, this what shit! What the fuck? Dude, this kid needs to be, like, just removed. This is this is time for a post-birth abortion. Like, this motherfucker is just pathetic. He's playing Fortnite, leaves his Legos on the floor, like, talks back to his fucking mom, and then puts ketchup on his eggs and hash browns. What the fuck? That sounds disgusting. I'm gonna get the door. Can you get it? Oh, hi, Miss Johnson. <laughs> what Can the I help fuck? You? Hi, dear. Bro, why is your tooth like literally fucking rotting? I just wanted you to know that I saw your dog poop in my lawn. Would you mind telling your son to clean it up next time? I've got a bad back and it's hard for me to bend over. <laughs> All those years of getting it blown out catches up real quick. Wait, what the fuck? But nah, I've came for your soul. What the fuck? Ketchup is disgusting as a whole. Yeah, I don't fucking eat that shit. I'll get the gun, Griffin. He'll be going tomorrow. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Just said King revived with the two. If this was my kid, I'd throw hands with him. Facts. Bro, I'd whip out the fucking Gucci belt and beat his ass. Max, did you leave Max's poop on Miss Johnson's lawn? Uh, yeah, it's not my job to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. I will make sure it does not happen. I missed your again. super chat. Oh, my bad, man. So, Crazy Crack at E31 with the two. We picked a good video to start with. I agree, man. We're off to a strong start here. The twink never disappoints. Thank you, dear. Alex! You can't leave Max's poop on people's front lawns! The last time I checked, my job is to walk Max, not to clean up after him. And if you want me to do that, then you'll have to pay me more. Oh. Is that right? How would you like it if I said that every time you asked me for something? I'm not the one asking you to do anything that isn't your job. Really? 
So what exactly is my job? Uh, to cook me food, to do the laundry, and to pay the rent. Okay. Got it. Now, can you get me the ketchup? No. That's not part of my job. Get it yourself. The mom decides that she's gonna give her son a taste of his own medicine. Ha ha ha, dude, who didn't see this one coming? I so Morris is down with the two darn man should collab with Autumn Falls. I can't afford this shit! Hell yeah. I'd definitely watch that. Fun games with the two. I what is happening? I got off for a bit. We're watching some Darman, bro. Watching Spoiled Son doesn't want to do chores. Instantly regrets it. He's about to regret it. Jackson Mummy with the two. This would be a banger Pornhub flick. Facts. Absolutely. I mean, Pornhub acting is a little bit better than this shit. The next day, little did Alex know he was about to learn a big lesson. All right, breakfast is done. It's on the stove. Uh, uh, bring it over here. I'm about to win. I can't afford this shit! Why does he need his breakfast to fucking win at Fortnite? The fuck? Special Force Moment 7 with the two. Stay in the kitchen, Mom. That's right. Know your place. It's basically what he told her, bro. I don't know. The belt would already be out by this point. I know. Just get it myself. Mom, there's no clean plates. Okay, so go ahead and wash one. What? No way. It's not my job to wash the dishes. Oh, well, from what I remember, it's not my job either. I can't afford this Close, shit! by the way. Okay, uh, why are you giving them to me? You're supposed to fold them and put them away. Huh. From what I remember, it was my job to do the laundry, nothing else. Jesus Christ, this is so fucking annoying. Max is being really nice, bro. Golden Retrievers are the fucking best dogs on planet Earth. Easy. So, Mandy team with the two, bro, I would never say that to my parents. Facts, bro. My dad would fucking kick my ass. No hesitation. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to teach me a lesson. You know what? Forget it. I would just leave my food there, and I'll leave my clothes over there. It doesn't bother me one bit. That's fine. Eat, sleep, Fortnite, repeat. Am I right, Mom? Why doesn't he just eat it out of the fucking pan? What the heck? Did the power just go out? Mom! What? The, the power's out. Oh, shit. Yeah, because, you know, the fucking power company's gonna shut off the power one day after you don't pay. So realistic. Shoot! I must have forgotten to pay the electric bill. Well, I, how could you forget? I mean, Cap. it's your job to pay the bills. Okay, well, yesterday you told me my job was to cook you food, do your- Bro, you get like 90 fucking days of power before they shut that shit off, and I don't even think they can shut it off. Like, what the fuck? This is so retarded. Laundry. Of course the fucking electric bill was due today. And pay the rent. I didn't hear anything about electricity bill. Stop it, Mom. How am I supposed to play my game when there's no power? The <laughs> Get your fucking ass up and pay the electric bill. This isn't funny. Well, I guess that's your problem. I'll be in my room if you need me. Wait. You're right, okay? I need to play Fortnite. I Bro, been. his Fortnite addiction is so fucking strong, he realized the error in his ways immediately. Addiction is a fucking bitch. The trash bag's in the garbage. I should have picked up my toys, and I should have cleaned up after Max. I'm sorry. I understand now that... I'm trying to do something. I should never do it halfway. Do you really mean I'm it? I'm sorry, man. He needs to ask mommy for the visa. I 
Fuck Maybe two of the two Holy didn't work. Shit. That's what it is. Yeah, facts. His toys, man. His fucking little Barbies and fucking Legos and <laughs> fucking Webkins. I don't fucking know. The mom's low key kind of hot. Bro, what? Are we looking at the same mom? I don't know, man. I'm not really into 50 plus, but you do you. Yes, uh, look. <laughs> he has a fucking Lego. Jesus fucking Christ. How old is she? Or not fucking she. He. Whatever. It's a twink. But anyway, this little fucking dude has a fucking Lego box. Jesus Christ. And he leaves him sitting out. Now, can you please pay the electric bill? Just kidding. <laughs> I actually flipped the power breakers to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Here. For doing your chores. Oh, thanks, Mom. What is <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? A fucking dollar? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> At that point, I'd be like, nah, forget it, mom. I don't need that shit. I'll just sell my fucking body on the curb. Like, what the fuck? One fucking dollar, dude. What the fuck can you even buy with a dollar? You can't eat. Bro, McDonald's, I don't even think, has a fucking dollar menu at this point. It's a dollar thirty. Like, bro, what the fuck? Actually, uh, never mind. You don't have to pay me to do chores anymore. I never should have charged you in the first place. Oh, bull fucking shit. You don't get these type of results overnight. But I guess that's the Fortnite addiction. Oh, sweetheart. I love you. Let me do the dishes so you can eat. No, it's okay. I wash no. the dishes. It's my place anyway as a woman. He's becoming his mom, bro. Sit down and I'll bring you a plate. Look at him fucking skipping over to the sink like a little fucking fairy. Like, ew. God damn. Manny team with the two. Dude, I never got paid to do my chores. I'll get whipped. Bro, that's the thing is my dad was like, you don't do your fucking chores. I'm taking all your shit. Like, literally, if I didn't do, like, mowing the lawn, fucking weed eating, weeding the beds. This shit. Um, helping with fucking mulch. Wash the cars, vacuum, do the fucking dishes, take out the trash, that type of shit. Like, bro, he would literally just come in my room and fucking rip my Xbox out of the wall. Like, he didn't give a fuck. This dude's getting paid to do all this shit. Like, damn. And he's bitching? I don't know. Hey, Darman fam, please remember <laughs> that we're not just telling shit. you. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with this man? Changing <laughs> like, he looks so Why? off. And when you like, look, bro, his beard's like fucking two-toned. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Born to be coder with the ARS-20. I'll build my empire in Venezuela with that dollar. Bro, you could buy the entire country. Roars is dead with a two. Dar... X Autumn, X Abella equals greatness. I'd watch it. Facts. You share my content. You're and like the way he has his hair, like going up to that little fucking point. I don't, it's just, it's mad corny. I don't know, man. So this one is poor student shame for old clothes. Shit. Yeah, let's bully the poor. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. Yo, we have we have the battle of the incels about to fucking take place here. You got the fucking Minecraft hype squad filming their latest TikTok video. And then you have the fucker in the furry Animal Crossing shirt walking in front of him. 
<laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Case, you were about to do a TikTok? Oh, yeah, dude. Sorry. I was about to do a fucking TikTok in our matching Minecraft drip. I have to start all over again. Hey, you think I could be in it? I can't no, you're wearing a fucking this Animal shit. Crossing shirt, you retard. Are you kidding me? No way. Look at what you're wearing. Is that last year's Animal Crossing t-shirt? Yeah, dude. What are you, a fucking furry? <laughs> Gross. Fun games with the five. My mom turns off the power to my room by the power grid outside. I have one in my closet so I can just turn it back on. But I wouldn't. Fair enough, man. You know your limitations. But you have the power to do so. Fair enough. Return it to folds of the two. My dad poured water on my PlayStation. Rip. That's an L. Danny Sora with the two would have been hit with extension cords and heels. Dude, that's the thing. My dad used to like take the belt and like fucking whip me with it. So yeah. If I wasn't doing what I was supposed to, so I I understand. Jesus Christ, man. We're about to witness the battle of the fucking cool kids. Yeah? Why? Oh. No one plays that anymore. We don't play Minecraft. Yeah, dude, we're so fucking cool. We play Minecraft, you fucking loser. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are your parents so poor that they can't even get you a new t-shirt? <laughs> Are your parents so poor that they can't even get you a new t-shirt? Nah, dude, my Minecraft one was fucking dirty. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow. My dad isn't around. And my mom lost her job. So things have been... Here, Gordon. Here are those clothes I was telling you about. Thanks, Mrs. Henry. Of course. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Okay. Damn, bro. I'm just saying. If she was my middle school teacher, I probably would have. If you know what I mean. Is everything okay out here? Oh, yeah. Everything's fine, Miss Henry. We're just being boys. Flying around. Okay. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me those are used clothes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> now I know why all your clothes are so old. <laughs> I gotta tell everybody. Hey, everyone! Gordon! Gets his clothes from the goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. I'm not gonna lie. This shit probably would have happened in my fucking school. We roasted motherfuckers for anything back in the day. Ramen Ramen with the 449. I would bully these kids. Bro, we used to bully this one kid for wearing a fucking creeper shirt to fucking middle school. So yeah. Absolutely. Facts. Dude, I wouldn't wear t-shirts, I'm pretty sure. Like, bro, you would not catch me dead repping some fucking Animal Crossing or Minecraft shit in fucking middle school. No fucking way. I wouldn't even wear a Call of Duty shirt to fucking school. Like, I remember one time I set my phone background as, like, the Modern Warfare 2 cover art. And some dude saw my screen and goes, Oh, dude, you set your fucking phone wallpaper as a video game? What are you, a fucking nerd? Like, bro, you get mad bullied for wearing anything video game related. And this motherfucker's getting bullied by kids wearing matching Minecraft shirts. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, Joey. Give them back. Oh, you want them back? I'll give them back. Oh shit. See you later, Goodwill Gordon. <laughs> Goodwill Gordon. Hey, you know That's what? A good one. I'm not gonna lie. Goodwill Gordon. <laughs> His shoes are kinda clean, man. I kinda like those. Like white and teal. Looking kinda fresh. <laughs> Goodwill Gordon. That's a good one. We should play Arsenal. <gasps> yeah, let's do it. Where's your tablet, Gordon? Oh. Uh, mine's a little old, and Robux doesn't really work on it. Well, if it isn't Goodwill, Gordon. Wait. Damn, bro, we can't even play Roblox with the boys. Damn. Poor Gordon. I kind of feel can't bad for him. This shit. Each generation with the five. If he had the Hego shirt, he'd be cool. Fags. I mean, at this school, he might as well be. 
<laughs> I don't know, man. Do not tell me that's your tablet. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's got a fucking candle. <laughs> okay. Bro, you know, bullying's bad and everything, but a fucking candle. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, goddamn. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> exactly who uses a Kindle anymore? <laughs> that shit's a fucking app at this point. I Able with the two, I wear a COD Ghost shit. hoodie in middle school. Fuck my life. Bro, that's the thing is like, I literally, everybody who wore video game shit in my fucking middle school and high school, like we roasted. And like, even in my high school, when I had the MW2 background on my phone, like some dude like walked up to me and goes, dude, you really have the fucking Modern Warfare 2 thing as your phone background? What are you, fucking nerd? I was like, nah, man, I just thought it looked cool. He goes, dude, change that shit. That looks gay as fuck. And this dude played Call of Duty with me every single fucking night. So that's the thing. Like, you don't rep video game shit in school. That's just a fucking rule. Why? <laughs> when did it come out, like, 30 years ago? <laughs> Anyways, check out the new I iPad. I can't Pro afford this shit! Holy oh, shit, dude, that's nice. $1, Damn. Mine's a little old, and it's all my mom could get me, okay? Let me see. Hey! Stop taking my stuff. That's really mean. You missed tablet back. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. That was the most unintimidating shit I've seen in my entire life. Give him his tablet back. Holy shit. Hey! Stop taking my stuff. <laughs> Is this dude like seven? Bro, why the fuck does he have clear glasses? Like, what the fuck, man? That's really mean. That's really mean. Hey, guys, that's really mean. Stop. Don't take his tablet. That's really mean. You missed tablet. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with this chick? Yeah. Be quiet. Hell yeah. Bro, I like this guy. I can't. What the fuck? I like the bully. Don't even think about standing up for this loser. What I thought. <laughs> Can I please just have my tablet back? Oh, he wants it back. <laughs> Fine, give it back. No, my tablet! Oh. Wow, I can't <laughs> believe you did that. You're insane. You broke it. Whatever. It's not like it was worth anything, anyways. Yeah, it's like 20 bucks at fucking Walmart. How am I gonna get a new one? Go buy one. Fine, I'll help you. Hey everyone, Goodwill Gordon needs a new tablet. He'll take anyone's used one. <laughs> Just like his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Have a good day, loser. <laughs> Dude, this is some harsh shit. So you guys want to come over? My mom just got me a PS5. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, cool. Wow. How many times are we gonna see this loser today? <laughs> Just leave me alone, Joey. Wait, do not tell me that you have to ride that piece of junk home. <laughs> I can't afford junk. this shit! Mom got it for me, said she had to sell her car, all right? And this is the best she could do? <laughs> Bruh, this dude's just straight flexing What is it? Gordon's mom's gonna lose her job or whatever So now he's gonna be poor And then he'll have to ask for fucking Animal Crossing t-shirts But then the fucking poor kid's gonna get rich as fuck Like, is this where we're going? Jackson, mommy with the two, hold the fuck up Is that Super Kai 64? Who the fuck is that? Bro, who the fuck is Super Kai 64? I have no fucking clue who that is. It costs like five dollars, just like your tablet. <laughs> Seriously, I'd never be seen riding that. I must suck having to ride that home. My mom comes and picks me up in her brand new Porsche every single day. And look, there she is now. That's really good for you. Let me see that. Give me my keys back! <laughs> Why is he squeaking I'll like a fucking back. girl? Give me my keys! Oh, the dedicated wham guy? Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Go fetch. <laughs> Why did you do that? Joey, I cannot believe what I just saw. We, we were just joking, Miss Henry. Well, joking at Gordon's expense is unacceptable, young man. You two, go home. 
Joey, come with me. What? No. Oh, shit. She's taken to the office to... <laughs> you know. Go talk to your mom. Please, don't do that. Come on. Hello, Mrs. Henry. How is everything? Fortunately, not so good. Uh -oh. I just caught your son here bullying another student. You need to have a serious talk with him, or I will have to report it to the principal's office. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. Yes, I will have a talk with him. And make sure he learns a lesson. I promise you, this will not happen again. I sure- Is she gonna take away the Minecraft shirt? <laughs> Hope not. Joey, what on earth did you do? Come on, Mom. It's just Goodwill Gordon. It's not that serious. Goodwill Gordon? Who is that? Just some poor kid everybody makes fun of. He wears old clothes, has a broken tablet, and even rides a crappy bike home. If you saw him, you'd laugh at him, too. What? No. This is not how I raised you. How would you like it if people made fun of you, huh? You should never judge someone before walking in their shoes. So I'm gonna make you broke. You have to wear the Animal Crossing t-shirt to school and get made up from made fun of for being a furry. So Jackson mummy with the five. I can't Joey, I can't this believe shit. this. Come with me, I'm gonna punish you, young man. Facts. Bruh, half of these sound like the start of a porno anyway. Whatever. We're rich. I'll never have to go through any of that. Oh, come on. I wanna play on my PS5. No. Just because we have money does not mean you treat people badly. You know what? From now on, no new clothes, no new iPad, and you're going to bike home. What? You can't do that. I just did. It's either that, or we let Mrs. Henry know to report you to the principal. I'd take the principal. Report me to the principal. Why the fuck would that matter? Oh no, what is the principal going to do? Put me in detention? Oh my god. Dude, fuck that. You can have new clothes, your fucking PS5, and you don't have to ride your fucking bike, or you can have the principal... <laughs> what? Is this even a fucking decision? I'd tell the principal to suck my dick. Whatever, who fucking cares? So what's it going to be, Joey? The principal. I can't believe this. Is the principal like some child rapist or some shit? Like, what the fuck? What is so scary about the principal? I or can't is dad with the five. There was a kid in my class, and he bullied the teacher the whole year and somehow never got in trouble, literally cussed her out. Maybe that was her kink, man. You never know. You never know. Could have been her thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. EDP is the principal. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. I'd run too. Hyper with the two. Lol, this man's a savage. I agree. Crazy crack at 831 with the two. The principal's EDP. Dude, yeah. He doesn't want to give EDP his I cupcake. Can't <laughs> that shit's off limits. Joey's so upset. I can't, I can't afford this shit. His mom is taking all these things away from him. The next day, Joey's forced to wear an old t-shirt. Bro, it is the Animal Crossing shirt. Shirt because his mom took away all of his new clothes. When his friends see him, <laughs> they laugh in his face. And I make would fun. laugh in his fucking face too. That, bro, you know, it's okay if you play Animal Crossing, but if you're repping the fucking merch, goddamn, you deserve to be fucking bullied. Out of him. During lunch, when all of his friends are playing with their new iPads, Joey takes out <laughs> an old tablet since his Of course, he has the same fucking blue fucking Kindle Fire. Yeah, facts. New one. Everyone laughs and makes him feel really bad. After school, 
Joey's mom doesn't come to pick him up in her Porsche. Instead, damn, he not has in the to Porsche. Bike home. When his friends see him, they <laughs> what all the laugh fuck? at him. Joey feels so humiliated. He now realizes how much it hurts to get made fun of. <sighs> and then a week later, Joey goes to talk to Gordon. Hey, Gordon. Uh, I don't want any trouble. Oh, actually, I came to say I was sorry. You are? Yeah, uh, I shouldn't have judged you before walking in your shoes. I never knew how much it hurt to get picked on. Can you please forgive me? Wow. That means a lot. No. Sure. I forgive you. Thanks. Oh, and thought maybe I should give you this. Oh my gosh! A Minecraft t-shirt? Oh shit! I've always wanted one of these. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And uh, do you want to come over and play Roblox? No. Well, I'd love to, but my tablet doesn't really work. Don't worry about it. I guess it's time to get you a new one. Oh shit! What? Bro, bro, this dude's simping. What the fuck? He must like him big, and like him chunky. What the fuck? <laughs> no way! I can't believe you got this for me. I've never had an iPad before. This is the nicest thing anyone's ever gotten for me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, should I meet you at your place? I have my bike, so I can't really ride in your car. Actually, I'm biking too. We can ride together. Gaming. <laughs> Bruh. What a happy ending. So, yeah. He buys him a fucking iPad. Homeless man gets his dog taken away. The fuck? Jackson mummy with the two. This is definitely the plot to kill Joey brutally. I, I can't so. afford this shit! I don't know. That was just a weird ass fucking video. Yeah, no, the ending was gay as shit. Should have kept that same energy. Oh my god, it's the dude from The Walking Dead. Here you go, Scott. You need this more than I do. What the fuck? <laughs> You need this more than me. <laughs> Bro, go get some shit out of the trash. It's a fucking dog. It'll eat whatever. Excuse me. Is that your dog? Yes, it is. His name is Scout. Poor thing. He deserves a better home. Not to be yeah. living out here on the street. Well, I wish I had a home. Just lost it recently and... Things have been so... It's really irresponsible of you. You shouldn't be taking care of a dog when you can't even take care of yourself. Hey, Scout. Is he even feeding you? I love how she's more concerned with a fucking dog than him. This is so fucking true, too. Like, motherfuckers straight up care more about fucking dogs than actual people. And it is an actual fucking fact. <laughs> God damn, this is fucking realistic. So Mandy team with the two. This reminds me about the French man's puppy. Wait, I'm trying to. Th was that one of these? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Do you want a real home? I'm feeding him. I may not always eat, but I always make sure he's well fed. He's not going anywhere. Oh yeah. We'll see about that. That's a cute dog, control. though, dude. I love golden you retrievers. To have a dog. Hi. That's the type of dog I'm getting soon, hopefully. A golden. I fucking love golden retrievers, man. Best dogs ever. Yes, this is Karen Kaufman. I'd like to report a case of animal abuse. <laughs> Thank you. 
She's just missing her oversized sunglasses, and then she could literally be an actual Karen. Man, it's hard. You must be hard too, huh? There he is. That's the guy that's neglecting that dog. Excuse me, sir. We have a report of animal neglect. When's the last time he's eaten? Just a few hours ago, I gave him my sandwich. Why? Yeah, right. You can tell he's obviously lying. That dog probably hasn't eaten for days. Do you have a home for him to sleep in? Well, it may not be considered a home to some, but we make it work. See, <laughs> this dog needs a real home. Not to be stuck out Yeah, bro, here. that response time's next fucking level. Jackson mummy with the two, bro. Prank call hippo and say, I want to make gay love. What the fuck? No, I'm good. Him? Jacob. What do you think's going on over there? I think they're trying to take the guy's dog away. I'm going to record it. <laughs> oh my fucking God, dude. This is real life. Jesus Christ. It's sad. This is literally this real life. Look, there's a new law that passed. If you don't have a home in this town, you can't have a dog. We're gonna have to take him. No, wait, please. You don't understand. I can't be without him. We both need each other. You see, I wasn't always homeless. I used to have a respectable job. And on one of my walks home from work, well, that's when I met Scout. He didn't have a home. And then I lost my job because he just looks so the dog. Sad. <laughs> Why does he have but mud on him? <laughs> Bro, I he's in the city. How does he have shit. mud on top of his head? One look into his big old eyes. I just knew I had to take him with me. I brought Scout home and took really good care of him. Oh my god, he has one of those wooden toilet seats. Ew. I washed him every week. I fed him the best food. And before I knew it, Scout looked like a brand new dog. We Bro, that is a very cute dog. What the fuck? Dude, I want a puppy so fucking bad, and this is not helping. <laughs> we are inseparable. And things were going great. That is, until a few months later, I lost my job. And all of a sudden, I had no income coming in. I got really behind on some bills and ended up owing $4,000 in rent. With no way to pay. Bro, he owes $3,000 a month for that shithole. Oh, wait, they're in California. Never mind. We both lost our home. So you see, Scout needed me when he was homeless. And now, I'm the one that's homeless. So somehow, we both just need each other. I can't afford this shit! Yeah, that's a great story and all, but, but we don't know how much of it is really true. Either way, rules are rules, right? Uh, right. Let's take them. Bro, I swear to God, like, literally, people care more about fucking dogs than, like, legitimate people. You know, let's spend money feeding and housing a fucking dog, but let's leave the homeless dude on the fucking street. Dude, it's so fucking accurate, though, especially in California. 100%. <laughs> like, 100% fucking accurate. So, Jason with the two, bro, stop watching Darman. It's too cringe. Never, man. We get a power through. Manny with the five. It's in France when a member of PETA still is his puppy because he's homeless. It's fucked up, dude. I fucking hate PETA. What? Wait, no. Sir. I can't lose, Scout. Sir. Sir, when you get your home back... You can have your dog back. If the dog hasn't found a home by then. Ready, Scout? Should we go find you a new home? 
No. Scout. <laughs> no. Sir? Oh, of course, bro. They brought the Darman book too. The fucking new Bible. Scout. Look, dude, Darman. So you see. Sir? I'm so sorry. I can't believe that happened to you. Yeah, it's so unfair. I mean, I saw how good you treated that dog. We gotta do Damn bro, Daryl Dixon really fell off. Do something. It's no use. If I don't have a home, I can't have a dog. And unless I find a way to get four thousand dollars, I'll never get Scout back. We gotta do something. Give him four thousand dollars. It's not that hard. Just second revive with the two. Free my boy Scout. He did nothing wrong. Facts. Scout is a good boy. So Angel Chang with the two. Imagine the homeless was racist. <laughs> Lol. Damn. That'd be a plot twist. Go fund me. What? Go fund me? Oh my god. Do people still use that shit? We can start a go fund me. Look, we can uh, we can tell everyone about the story about how you found Scout and I'm sure that people would want to donate. It takes like 3 months to get your fucking money from GoFundMe, so this is not going to be realistic at all. And you have to I pay can't taxes on it. This shit. You really think that that's going to work, Jacob? Yeah. Please just let me try it. Okay, if you think it'll work. Yes, okay. My computer's at home. Come on, Mom. Let's go. Yeah, bro. If PETA took that dog, it's already fucking dead. Jacob runs off so excited about helping to get Scout back to his rightful owner. He gets to his laptop and starts a GoFundMe page, telling the world all about Scout and the need to bring him back home. He sets a goal of raising $4,000. I can't afford this shit! And before he knew it, the story about Scout ends up going viral. People all over the world Yo, start what the donating fuck? money. 113 grand? Jesus Christ. I'm in the wrong business. I should be pretending to be a homeless dude getting my fucking dog stolen. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? That sounds like a good ass deal. Like, holy shit. Yeah, this motherfucker is not going to be homeless for long. <laughs> oh, Danny Sore with a two. The Karen is about to get canceled on Twitter. Facts. Money. Jacob and his mom can't believe what just happened. And then, a couple of days later, Jacob and his mom go visit the homeless man. Excuse me, sir? Oh, hi. Wasn't sure if I'd ever see you again. Of course. Now look, we actually have a little surprise for you. <laughs> just keeping the money, dude. Why don't you come with us? They could just tell him some bullshit amount and just I keep know the rest. I strange, but can you put on the blindfold? I can't afford this shit! This is how homeless people lose their fucking organs. You're almost there and stop. You can take off the blindfold now. How the fuck did they know his address? What the fuck are these people? This is my old apartment, but I understand. What are we doing here? How the fuck did you find out where I live? How long have you been fucking following me? What the fuck? Dude, these are not the, these are the questions that I'd be asking. Like, how the fuck do you know where I live? Like, what? <laughs> they didn't know this man until like fucking a couple days ago I on the fucking street. I can't afford this shit! Manny team of the two. Cap. I agree. I'd keep the money. Um, Angel Chang with a two. They come back to get a cut of those 100 grand facts. The sad thing is, is because it's California, he'd have to pay like 50% of that in tax, so he'd only get to keep like 50 grand anyway. Actually, this is your new apartment. 
Here are your keys. What? <laughs> you paid off my $4,000 past due rent? Even better. We bought the unit from the owner, so you own it now. I own it? <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> but I don't understand. Do you know the GoFundMe idea that we had? Well, let's just say that it worked and we got just enough money to buy the place. <sighs> wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> this is going to change my life. Now where's the fucking Thank dog? Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, I have one more surprise. Oh, let's go. Oh, there's the dog. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I missed you so much. It's sad. You know what's really sad, though? Is that's an old golden retriever. Which means it's probably not going to last too much longer. Which is always really sad. You can tell when their face kind of starts getting white around the lips and stuff. I can't afford this That's how you know shit. golden retrievers are kind of on their way out. It's sad, man. Golden Retrievers are like the sweetest fucking dogs on planet Earth. But they don't live very long. And it's always a sad time. I don't know, man. It's just depressing to think about, to be honest. Dude, I fucking love Golden Retrievers. Best dogs on Earth. Easy. But yeah, sorry to kill the mood, right? <laughs> Um, Jay or Jackson Mummy with the two. Anyone else see Kurt Cobain and Willie Nelson? Nah, man. I don't really know too much about suicide. Isn't that the dude who killed himself? Right. Go back. I can't tell you what this means to me. God bless you both. You're so welcome. God bless you too. <laughs> Show the dog. I don't care about them. Show me the dog. Bro, they didn't even hey, get fucking show the dog again. Ew, I don't care about them. I want to see the dog. I love dogs. I don't like cats. Yeah, Kurt killed himself. Okay, I'm thinking of the right one. All right, so TikTok famous teen kicked out of office. Well, any calls yet? Sorry, Daisy. Is she going to expose them? We used to be getting calls all day, every day. We haven't had a call in weeks. Oh, they got a call. call. What the fuck? Hello. Thank you for calling Daisy's Interior Design Services. What's the interest rate on my mortgage? Oh. Telemarketer. Of course. Uh, Daisy? Sorry, I know the timing isn't the best, but the landlord came by. He said, we're 30 days past due. What? Great. We are not going to be able to keep our doors open much longer at this rate. Shouldn't have entered the Daisy? dying business. Great news. I have a new marketing idea. Oh, please don't tell me. So... We go back and we do things the old fashioned way. We take out a fuck? full page ad in the newspaper. Bro, the fucking newspaper. Jesus Christ, this is corny. Fun games with the two. There's only a few people I like more than dogs. Bro, dogs are the best. Like, if people don't like dogs, I don't trust them. Like, you kind of have to be a shitty person shit. to not love probably the most loyal animal on planet Earth, which is a dog. Like, you will never find anything more loyal to you than a dog. And people who don't like dogs are really sus. I'm just throwing that out there. Barb, nobody reads the newspaper anymore. And that would probably cost us every penny that we have. Look, Barb... I know that you have been in charge of marketing for a long time, and I appreciate everything that you've done. But it's time that we try something new. We need to get with the trends. And that's why I've decided to hire Allison Day to help us out with our marketing. Who the fuck is why? that? Allison Day. She's like the queen of TikTok. 
Who? Hey everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and I can't wait to work. <laughs> oh, please tell me this is some kind of a joke. How is this fifteen-year-old high school talk tick star going to solve all of our problems? Hmm. I'm actually twenty. And I have a lot of experience in marketing. You see, <laughs> you have a lot of experience in marketing, darling. Yeah, bro, she is child. pretty hot. You probably just I'll learned tap. how to tie your own shoes. I, on the other hand, have over 20 years of marketing experience. And that is what we need, not some kid. Barb, how could you say that to her? What? I'm just telling it like it is. You remember, old is gold. We need to put a full page ad in the newspaper. Griffin Thirsty? Facts. Allison, I am so sorry about that. I do not know what has gotten into her. Please don't mind her. I, I'll talk to her later, okay? It, it's okay. I get judged all the time because of my age. I'm used to it. Oh, one second. Oh, shoot. I really have to get this. Um, Valerie, uh, would you mind showing Allison around? Are you kidding? I'd love to. Thank you. Yes, this is Daisy. Come on, Allison, follow me. I'm sorry. I've never met someone with so many followers before. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Oh my god. You have a lot of followers. I've never met someone like you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> what is it like having all those followers? <laughs> Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? You think, like, people act normal because it's like, Oh my god, dude, I have a million followers on TikTok. Don't fucking speak to me, peasant. Like, maybe, but I don't know, man. No, you can't touch me. Hands off. You're fine. <laughs> so, who was that? You know, the... Oldest gold lady. Oh gosh, that's Barb. She used to have some good ideas, but she doesn't understand that marketing has changed. She thinks we're still living in the 90s. <laughs> that's probably why the phones have stopped ringing. <laughs> okay, so how do we get people to want to use Daisy's designs? These decorations, they're really cute. What if we... transformation. So we'll start at the empty desk and then I'll add each decoration on one by one. Uh, can you video as I do? Oh, I get it. Sort of like a time lapse of the design process? Exactly. And then I'll post the video on TikTok and explain to people how Daisy's design services can help them do cute stuff like this. Wow. I love that idea. What, placing toys on a fucking desk? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. I, I really need someone to pay me to put fucking toy pigs on my fucking desk. What's going on in here? Oh, um, we're creating a TikTok. Here, check it out. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Bro, it's a video of her putting shit on a desk. How is that cool? This was your big idea? <laughs> oh, and now I suppose the phones will just magically start ringing. Well, they should. After I tag you guys, at least. What's your guys' TikTok? Oh, we actually don't have one. What? What? Really? 
Bro, I don't have a TikTok. What the fuck? Dude. Should I make a TikTok so I can get clouded? I don't know, man. I got to keep up with the times. I don't have one either. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I've seen the shit on TikTok. I just don't think I'd ever use it. Old as gold. Please, no. I don't know, man. I don't want to be a boomer. I may have to get one. Dude, I would just talk shit on it. Like, literally just shit on people. Nope, but none of us will watch it. All right. Dude, I don't need... I need to get clouded on TikTok, though. You're going to get banned? No, I won't. Dude, who the fuck is going to ban me off of TikTok? What the fuck? Well, that's the first thing we need to do then. Here, oh, just... no, no. We are not wasting our money on that. Oh, there's no cost. It's free. It doesn't matter. Look, child, if after 20 years of marketing, I can't figure it out, you definitely won't. You're wasting your money. I can't believe she just talked to you that way. I am so sorry. China will ban me? Then there's no fucking loss. I don't give a shit. Like, that's the thing. I don't I give can't a fuck if I got banned. Any team of the two. I've never had TikTok, but Vine, lol. Dude, I never use Vine. Griff would be banned in like a day for harassment. Who knows, man? Who knows? It's okay. It's not your fault. Don't let her discourage you. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. You know, I, I, I think I'm just gonna leave. Are you sure? I feel really bad. <laughs> uh, Allison? Allison, wh where, where are you going? I'm sorry. I just, I don't think I belong here. What? Barb hates me. Oh my gosh. What did she say to you? Please, tell me. All I told her was the truth. That her kiddish idea would never work. What idea? <laughs> she wanted to take some silly video of a desk and then tag something someone? I, I don't know. It wasn't silly. It was really good. I was trying to create a TikTok to show the design process of decorating a desk. Like, why the fuck would they care? This literally cost them zero fucking dollars to make a video. Like, why is this even up for debate? Just let them fucking do it. Who cares? It literally cost them nothing. This is so fucking stupid. I don't know, man. Ruari with the two? It's called We Do a Little Trolling? I guess so. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Grifter Griffin is TikTok videos? That's right, man. I got a grift on TikTok. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, why is, um... Why is she so fucking pressed about this fucking video, man? I was gonna use that to drive traffic to your website and then push customers to the call to action, which in turn will make your phone start ringing. So you see, so you I see. do know a thing or two about marketing. Yeah, you didn't really remember your lines very well, but that's all right. How was your group projects? Is this how your group, pro no, it's not. It's literally just people sitting there quietly. Well, I think it's a great idea. Why don't we give it a try? Because it will never work. We do marketing here the traditional way, not by taking advice from some kid. That would be insanity. Old is gold. Don't forget that. Do you even know what the definition of insanity is? Bro, are they really going to quote Far Cry 3? It's doing the same thing over and over. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh 
my fucking god, dude. Do you even know what the definition of insanity is? Oh my fucking god. It's doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If you keep marketing this way, you're never going to see change. <laughs> Old isn't always gold. Sometimes... I guess Darman was playing some Far Cry 3 before writing the script for this one. New is what to do. <laughs> Are you going to take advice from someone who has an MBA in marketing and over 20 years of experience or some kid who barely graduated high school? Allison, are you sure your idea is going to work? Yeah, I am. All right, then. Here's what we'll do. We will give Allison's idea a try. And if that does not work, then we will buy a full page ad in the newspaper. Fine. This shouldn't take long. Barb leaves as Allison stands there to. So what? What is this like rich ass fucking TikTok person doing at the shitty interior design company? Like why? <laughs> like, I don't fucking get this shit. Why is she working a day job? <laughs> Agent Nibbles of the two. Do you know the definition of insanity? A. Eh? I don't. Not at all. Old as gold, she kind of hot though. Not gonna lie, what the fuck? I can't the afford the granny. This shit. No thanks, man. That's a used model. It's probably looking like an Arby's roast beef sandwich down there. Determined to prove her point, Allison and Valerie get back to their idea, showing the process of designing a desk. When they finish recording. Allison edits the video and gets ready to post it on TikTok. Now I just need to write the caption. Check out Daisy's designs. Link in bio. <sighs> okay. Posting in three, two, one. Posted. That was so good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was so fucking shit. What the fuck, bro? That is the gayest dude. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> that was so fucking bad. Hold on. We got to watch that again. Posted. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was so fucking awful. What the fuck, dude? Coincidentally, I'm in marketing class right now. Damn. Dude, what the fuck was that shit? So good. Amazing. Nice job. Wow, that was really cute. I it's not a real TikTok because her ass wasn't in it. I loved it. Thanks. <laughs> but I don't hear the phones ringing. Oh, uh, well, it really doesn't work like that. It takes some time. Mm-hmm. That sounds like an excuse to me. The phone. It's ringing. Hello. Thanks for calling Daisy Design Services. How can I help you? Am I happy with my mattress? Uh. Who is this? A telemarketer. I told you her idea wouldn't oh work. Oh my god. This was a huge waste of time. It, just trust me, okay? It just takes time. Trust you? You're just a child with no experience. Hiring you. Buy a new mattress? I just bought one back in August. I'm good. I haven't pissed the bed that many times yet. It was a huge mistake. 
Allison! Allison, please, don't go! You should not have treated her like that. Well, it is good riddance. She didn't know what she was doing. Now let's go full speed ahead on the newspaper ad. I don't want to waste any more time. Was it an expensive mattress? I mean, it was like 1500 bucks, so not really. I don't know what the normal price for a mattress is. Hello, Daisy's Designs. How may I help you? You saw our video on TikTok? Ew. You want help designing your office? Yes, absolutely. Finally. Jesus Christ, could that woman have any more fucking Botox? Customer. Oh my God. Hello, Daisy's Design Services. How can I help you? You saw our TikTok video. Absolutely, we can help you with that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hello? Yeah. Oh, what in the world is going on? Oh. Yes. I the can't phones are ringing off the hook. Shit. It worked. Allison's idea worked. <laughs> she did it. I can't yeah, Allison is are... thick. I don't. Oski Waski with the two. Bro, all I heard was TikTok. What is happening? Ew. Dude, the power of TikTok. I don't know. Who the fuck knows, man? Back in business. We are back. Oh. Uh, yes. Daisy's design services? This is Daisy. Absolutely. Allison? Can I talk to you for a sec? <laughs> Propped up against the Porsche. What do you want? Look, I just wanted to say I am sorry for how I treated you. I guess I was just afraid of the power of e losing my job trade. or being replaced by someone younger than me. Yeah, I, I guess I can understand that. You were right. Your idea, it worked. I mean, phones are ringing off the hook in there. Well, that's great. I'm so happy for you guys. I can't Thank afford you. this shit! For saving our company. And uh, ironically, my job. Uh. You're welcome. Do you want to record a TikTok? No. Dude, I don't get what this fucking instant forgiveness type shit is. If I was her and she asked me that, I'd say, fuck off. You old bitch. <laughs> R. Asriel with the two TikTok changes lives. Facts, man. Changed my life forever. Of course. <laughs> Did she just fuck... She just fucking come, dude. What the fuck? Of course. <sighs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Did somebody crank up the fucking vibrator? Alright, let's swap this out. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What is going on in here? Oh, well, we are recording a TikTok. <laughs> Really? Mm -hmm. A TikTok? You? <laughs> okay. Where is Barb and what have you done with her? Oh. <laughs> Seriously, what happened to advertising I in newspapers? I can't afford this shit! Well, I learned recently that... What was that voice, Griffin? I mean, if you want me to do it again, just ask. It's all right. Different strokes for different folks. But yeah, I'm very good at impersonating. A moan. <laughs> Manny team with a two. She looks like a dollar store of Hillary Clinton. I mean, true. I can see that. Absolutely. Old is woman. not always gold. Sometimes new is what to do. Excuse me. I'd like to try this on. My shop is a high.
TikTok famous teen kicked out of designer sh- store. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. What else? Car mechanic <laughs> tries to scam this woman. Oh, dude. Woman BTFO'd. Nah, but seriously, Gordon. It's been an incredible 15 years, man. Thank you, Oscar. You know, you always treated this shop like it was your own, and every customer like they were part of your family. Yeah. You earned that. Give my love to your wife and kids, okay? Oh, shit. Especially the wife. Don't give her too much love. Or else she won't want me to come over anymore. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to promote one of you two now, huh? Before you continue, sir, I just gotta say, I love that suit. Bro, I wouldn't promote him right then and there. Like, if some motherfucker came to me with some corny ass shit, like, oh, well, before you even think about promoting anyone, I'd like to fuck the shit out of you in that suit. Like, what the fuck, man? He'd be like, huh, gay? Get the fuck out. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, Leroy. But it's not going to be that easy. Whoever runs this shop is going to have to earn it. I'm promoting the person who can earn the most amount of money for the shop by the end of the day. Good luck. Becoming shop manager. Can you imagine him? <laughs> That'd be like a dream. <laughs> How? So to shatter your dream, but that manager position's mine. Pretty soon I'm gonna be your boss, so you should get used to taking orders from me. You know what? Start by throwing that away. Damn, bro, so abusive. Oh. Hey. Hey. See, this is the kind of customer I hate. Broke and never spend any money. You can tell just by looking at him. Hey, what does he have? A fucking Ferrari? Jose? Actually, uh, my name's Sam. <laughs> Bruh. Racial stereotyping. Wouldn't be a darn man video without it. Oski Oski with the two. Oh, hell no. You leave my name out of this series. <laughs> Bruh. Just you wait. It's only going to get better. Are Azriel with the five? These videos are a result of bad life choices, regret, drug abuse, shit. facts, and Darman's crippling, or Darman's wife's crippling designer clothing addiction. My tire sign just came on. Can one of you check it? Yeah, not a problem. I'd be happy to. Just go ahead and. Uh, lo siento, but no. We don't fill air here, Paco. Take it to the gas station. <laughs> oh I'm actually worried I won't make it to the gas station. Can one of you please just check? No, the answer is still sure. No. I'll check it for you. Okay, just pull your car in, bro. He's gonna have like a fucking Rolls Royce or some shit. Thank you so much. Hey, see this? This is exactly why you'll never be a manager. Take it from me, okay? Stop wasting your time with poor-looking people, and maybe then you'll get ahead. Look, I've always believed in helping people. Okay, and besides. You should never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> uh, ooh. Would you look at that? A woman who knows nothing about cars. This should be like taking candy from a baby. Watch and learn. Actually, my dad is a mechanic, so I know all about this stuff. Like, this is what it's gonna be. Well, hello. Welcome to Chris's Car Pairs. Can I help you, sweetheart? Hi. My ch Bruh. Check engine light is on. I I think I may just need some new spark plugs. <laughs> well, I know as a woman you probably don't know much about cars. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. Take it from me. This can be very serious. Oh, I actually know a lot about cars. Told you. If I could just get some spark plugs, I can change them myself. Look, look. Just because you found some inspo on Pinterest doesn't mean you know about cars. Oh my fucking god, dude. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Trust the experts, sweetheart. Just pull it in and I'll take a look at it. Okay. It's Christina, by the way. My husband doesn't like it when other men call me sweetheart. Well, he can hold the camera, because I don't give a fuck. Mm. <laughs> sure. Hey. Guaranteed I'm gonna stick her for at least five grand, maybe even ten. Oh, okay, yeah, that guy's definitely not spending any money. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks again. This isn't even my car, it's my daughter's. I have a business nearby. Sure, you do, Hector, and I'm the CEO of Tesla. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this dude? Jesus Christ, he's like the corniest motherfucker to walk the face of the earth. Let's take a look. Well, the air is just a little low, so a small top off should do the trick. All right. There. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you? Oh, no, don't worry about it. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in always treating customers like family. So I'm not going to charge you for a little bit of air. Wow. God bless you. I won't forget this. And trust me, I'm definitely coming back. Thank you. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in treating everyone like, are you serious? Did you not see how much cash he had? I would have taken it all. Well, he did say he was coming back. <laughs> That's what they all say, but they never do. Take it from me. Get it all while you can. Oh shit, here we now go. Watch it actually learn. Well, hello, and welcome back. Listen, I can really fix it myself if you just give me Oh, that. oh, I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Besides, this is a serious job that requires the right man. <laughs> Luckily for you, I'm right here. Now, if you just give me the key, I'll get Oh full my inspection. fucking god, dude. But that's really not This is so fucking gay. Jesus Christ. This is like literally some fucking retard that watched every pickup line video on fucking YouTube and is mirroring this shit. Holy fuck. Not necessary. <laughs> Trust the professionals. Okay, sweetheart. Christina. Right. Now go have a seat in the yeah, she said her husband, so watch the husband be the owner of the fucking shop. Manny team of the two pretty much will get fired. Oh, yeah, dude. Facts. Customer lounge, and I'll come get you. A full inspection? Is that really necessary? I can't afford oh, this shit! Oh, yes, it is. Special Force 117 with the 298. What an alpha male wannabe. Shit. Sigma males for life. Bro, I don't know. This dude's like some fucking... I don't even know, bro. He's just like the ultimate Chad. You see, full inspection costs $250. And that is just the beginning of it. Just wait until I tell her her car has a leak. Hey, how do you know she's not going to catch you? She's a woman for crying out loud. <laughs> you just know the brake from the gas pedal and take it from me. I don't know. I wouldn't be so quick to judge a book by its cover. Oh, you think I would take advice from you? The guy who gives out free I can't zero afford dollars this shit! <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Besides, with my charm, I'll have her thanking me for not charging her more. <laughs> oh, boy. Bro, she's reading the new Bible. What the fuck? The Darman book. So you see. So no name with the seven? Appreciate it, man. Shark bait. Oh, ha ha. Wait, what the fuck? I guess. I don't know, man. But she's got that Darman book. She's got to be really intelligent, though. Dude, I've tried to find the Darman book. I do not know where it's available. I don't think it exists yet. Oh, boy. Am I glad you brought this in today. The engine needs to be replaced. What? That's crazy. It was running perfectly fine. 
Look, I know that as a woman, you may not be able to... Oh my fucking god, bro. I understand all this, but I am doing you a huge favor. Take it from me. Five grand? And you charged me the $250 inspection fee. I said that wasn't even necessary. Yeah, but the car needs a brand new engine. You should be thanking me. You should have seen when I got into that thing. It was leaking engine oil everywhere. <sighs> I can't believe this. Hey, where do you think you're going? See? Look at all the oil your car was leaking. Would you mind giving me some new spark plugs? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I know that because I'm a woman, you may think I don't know a lot about cars, but I actually do. Thanks. You see, when a car's spark plugs are bad, it can cause the engine to misfire, which will trigger your check engine light to come on. Needle nose pliers, please. Ratchet with the long extension. <laughs> See all the oil and carbon deposits? That means it's time to replace it. Why don't you make yourself useful and go get me a gauge gap? Dude, she is woman splaining. Now that the spark plugs are replaced, watch. See? No check engine light. Wow. That was amazing. But I don't understand. How do you... <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? You work in a fucking mechanic shop. You never seen somebody change fucking spark plugs? I know so much about cars. Let's just say my dad owns a shop. I grew up working on cars. Your dad. Christina! Okay, so it's her, her dad, not husband. Okay. I mean, I was close enough. to get some new spark plugs, Dad. Wait, she's your daughter. Yeah, yeah. She actually used to work here back when Oscar started, but uh, I guess you guys haven't met yet, huh? She's my little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I actually named the shop after her. Wait, Chris's car repairs? Yeah, I call her Chris. <laughs> wow. What a freak. Okay, so, well, I'm so glad I was able to fix your car for you. Ew. <laughs> uh, don't worry about the cost. It's it's on the house after all. We always treat our customers like Special Force 117 with the 298. So stunning and brave. That's right. Truly. Family oh, here. Oh, save it. Leroy here tried to charge me $5,000 to replace my entire engine when all I needed were some spark plugs. You what? Oh, sir. I, I, I can explain. You see, I was... Wow, wow, that is a nice Porsche. Juan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Call him fucking Juan, bro. The amount of disrespect coming from this motherfucker is on god tier levels. Like, holy shit. Hey, Sam. I told you I'd be back, and this time I brought my car. I'm thinking about painting it red, getting some new rims, maybe even a new sound system. What do you think something like that would cost? Um, I don't know. Off the top of my head, around 10 grand? That sounds great to me. Let's That's it? To do a complete repaint? Fucking new rims? And this, nah, that's not 10 grand. That's like 15 grand minimum. Especially on a fucking Porsche. Do it. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, awesome. Just wait for me in the lounge and I'll be right with you. Great. Thank you. Well, Devin. Looks like you just won the contest. Congratulations. You're the new shop manager. W wait, really? No, are you serious? I'm not gonna work for him. Unless you make me the manager, I'm gonna quit. Oh, no, thank you. That won't be necessary because... Because you're already fired. You're fired. Oh, my God, who knew? Who See, knew? at this shop, we like to treat everybody like their family. Wow, not so amazing. You never would have saw it from here. This is unbelievable. Can this day get any worse? Hey. Can I give you some advice? Never judge a book by its cover, and maybe then you'll get ahead. Unless it's the Darman book, then you can judge it by its god tier cover. Take it from me. Now the girl's married. You got me fired. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. What'd you just call her? <laughs> what the fuck is this dude? Sweetheart. Why? Who are you? Her husband. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is up with this guy? He looks like he has a fucking slinky for a neck. Yeah, bro. Walmart brand Flawless. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Wow. What a what a wonderful ending. He gets blacked. Okay. Female cop humiliated by male cop. Man, she's a looker, right? Woman exposed. Yo, give me a couple weeks and I bet I can... what? Actually, never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> What's up, princess? Bet I could blow out your back. Oh, did you get lost looking for the little girl's room? <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> and we wonder why people think some cops are pigs. Ooh. Oh, careful, boys. I think she may be PMSing. <laughs> All right, everyone. Last day of training. Let's get out there and make it count today. Come on, let's get it. Look, I know you're used to wearing heels. Try your best to keep up. Okay, princess. All right. Good work, Roy. Let's see. Doyle, you're next. Let's have you spar with Allie. Oh, what? You gotta be kidding me. You only spar against a woman? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Look, female cops belong behind a desk. Or better yet, in a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the streets fighting bad guys. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Ooh, be careful. Oh Don't my make a god, dude. <laughs> oh, what the fuck uh, was that right. shit? <laughs> Ooh, be careful. Don't break a nail or something. Dude, what the fuck is this? Look at this shit. She goes to fucking slap him. <laughs> and then he grabs the titty, bro. Had enough, princess? <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Good work, Doyle. Your hand. Hey! <laughs> Just face it. Women? <laughs> you fucking thought. Belong in the kitchen. You should be making us all coffee instead. <laughs> See how the way I took her down yesterday? <laughs> like that? Yeah, she can't, she can't keep up with us. That's the yeah. thing. Oh, wow. This is a surprise. After that beating I gave you earlier, I thought you were gonna quit. Well, it's a good thing that I didn't. Because you might be begging for my help one day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, I almost forgot. Give me another cup of coffee. Shoot, while you're at it, get us all another cup of coffee. Ooh. Since that's all you're good for. Thanks. Okay, troops. That's it. It's official. Training's over. It's the real world out there now. So take this seriously. Eli, you're with Roy. Awesome. George, you and Sean. Bye-bye. 
Hey, Sarge, can I partner with Billy? Trevor? Yeah, no, you're with Allie. <laughs> what? You must be joking. Oh, shit. Are you trying Who to didn't see that one coming? Seriously, I'd rather work alone. You don't have that choice, do you? Now get out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out. Come on, princess. Your only job is to make sure my cup stays full. Understand? Oh my fucking right. god. This is so fucking corny, dude. Oh, what are you doing? Everyone knows women can't drive. <laughs> Get in the passenger seat. Are you? <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> oh my Yo, fucking god, dude. Y'all probably just dropped her off at the nail salon and meet up with you boys. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think a first call is going to be? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully nothing too dangerous, since I've got you as my backup. Can you stop it with the constant female jobs already? It's getting old. 211 in progress on 11th and Grand. Any units available? That's right around the corner. Let's go. Hold on to your skirt. This is Officer Doyle. We're on the way. Hold on to your skirt. Okay. Is it the homeless guy with the dog? What are you doing? What do you mean? Trying to stop the robber? You think we're going in there to play with dolls? It isn't safe for you. Stay in the car. Oh. Stay there. Get off me. Police, don't move. Why'd you do that? I had the situation under control. It looked to me like you needed help. Just go back and wait in the car. This is a man's job. Hey. Oh my. Fucking God. Hey, what are you doing? How is he out of breath? He ran like half a block. Get off! Hold still! You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. I want to speak to my attorney. Come on. Bro! It is the fucking guy with the dog. Fucking Daryl Dixon. Holy shit. After his dog died, he went back onto the street. How'd you do that? I said I had it under control. Yeah, right. Hey, let me out of here. Get comfortable because you're staying here for a long time. <laughs> Good thing we got him. Wait till the Sarge finds out. He's probably gonna promote me. <laughs> promote you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you guys bagged Ronnie the robber. And on your first day, too. We've been after this guy for months. Yeah, well. How? That's what you get. This literally, he literally got touched by her and fell to the fucking ground. How did they not catch him? When you put the right man on the job. Oh, did you catch him? That's not what Yeah. But did you really think a woman had anything to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky he had her as backup. I had him pinned to the ground, and he couldn't even keep up with me. If it wasn't for her, I would have gotten away. Quiet! Before I charge you with disorderly conduct. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> you know how these criminals are. Bunch of liars. I can't afford this shit! You saw the whole thing through your police body cams. Excellent work, Ellie. Really impressive. Thanks, Sarge. You know, we're promoting somebody to sergeant. You think you'd be interested? The only drawback is uh, you'd have to get a new partner. There is no way you get promoted on your first fucking day. Not a chance. Special Force 117 with the 298. This is as corny as The Last of Us 2. Cutscene dialogues? Fact. Dude, I think this is worse. This is like some of the worst shit I've seen in my entire fucking life. It's like every stereotype bundled into one. I would love that. What? You're gonna promote her? What about me? Look, you need a real man for that job. Actually, I do have a new job for you two. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is it? Go get me a fresh cup of coffee. While you're at it, 
Get Allie one too. You better get used to it. She's your new boss. Come on, Allie. Let me show you your new office. Oh my god. Oh, and um I like my coffee with two creams and two sugars. Gross. Thanks, Princess. I take mine black. Just like you're about to take this dick. <laughs> but nah. I would have had the fire back. But yeah. He's got a nut in the coffee, bruh. That's right, some extra cream. School janitor shamed by mean girls. Oh my god. Leah? What are you doing at this park? Oh god, no. Oh god, bro. No! <laughs> what the fuck did I just click? Jesus Christ. Fucking sniper wall. Oh, God. All right. Fuck. Park on a random Tuesday afternoon. What do you mean, park? Wow, you're exposing us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're here at Darman Studios for part three of our collab with Sniper Wolf. Hi, guys. Are you excited for this one? Yes, very excited. Nice. And as tradition, we're going to be giving away two brand new Apple laptops. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Sniper Wolf's channel, and then comment done in each of our videos. Should we start today's video? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and start it. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Bree. <laughs> Bruh. Are you trying to be funny, Jordan? No, I, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to throw it in the trash. Really? All right, then. Let me help you throw it in the trash. <laughs> Since you are trash, Jordan. Nice one. <laughs> Fuck. Nice one. What the fuck, dude? Nice one. Like, bruh. I can't afford this I mean, this I think shit. they have the right to fucking roast his ass for chucking a ball of paper at her face. So, I don't know. So, Joshua with the two. Turning back is an option. I mean, I guess, but we're already this far. Mm -hmm. Oski Woski with the two. I'm a tier three cent for Griffin, not this wolf. Damn. Appreciate it. Let's see. Yeah. You have to be. Damn, bro. I wanted to fuck her. That's probably what he's thinking. So mean. You know, it must be so embarrassing having to clean floors between classes because your mom is so poor. I can't afford this hey. shit! Hey! Don't talk about my mom. And besides, you shouldn't judge someone until you walk in their shoes. I'll talk about whoever I want to talk about. Jordan the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You generation with the two, stop making those voices. Thanks. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to turn you on. My bad. Jordan the janitor. That's so good. And besides, why would I want to walk in your nasty shoes? He smells. Let's go. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this chick? Yeah. Ew. Like, holy shit. I can't afford this shit! Oh my god. Please, God, no! No! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill myself. What the fuck, dude? I was not... I was not prepared for this shit. Fucking Psycho Mantis, too. Shit. So this is the poor kid, bro. That they default dance in front of his house. 
Oh my fucking god. Please god, no. Mandy team with the 10, bro. Nice game on Halo. Catch you again tomorrow and here have a good night. Good luck for the exam, bro. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a good one. And then Oski Woski with the two. Oh, haha. It was so funny. I forgot to laugh, bro. Facts. But shit. I wasn't ready for this tonight. What the fuck? Yo! I heard Sniper Wolf just got here. Let's go outside and look. I can't afford this shit! That was a close one. Oh god, dude, they're so famous. What the fuck? Rackenzie with the two video on this one soon. Probably, man. We'll see how it is. Thanks again for doing this meet and greet. Sorry, I didn't think it'd get this crazy. Oh, it's totally fine. Wait, isn't that Jordan? <laughs> I'm gonna nut in my shorts. What are you doing just as a janitor? I picked up a job to help my mom with rent. I know it's so embarrassing. No, it's not. It's actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah, nothing screams cool like being a fucking janitor, right? <laughs> Definitely not just fucking low key roasting the motherfucker. Yeah, like I used to work at a store folding clothes. There's no shame in hard work. <laughs> hard work? Did this bitch really say folding clothes is hard work? Oh my god. Dude, folding clothes? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. I wish that was true. There's this girl, Bree. She just humiliated me in front of all the school. You're joking. Bree? Someone should call her. Bro, didn't this motherfucker um, embarrass Psycho Mantis in front of the entire school? Someone should call her parents. Okay, you fucking Karen. Parents. Oh no. I think they're coming. So am I. This way before they see you. Thanks, Jordan. Hey, um, have you seen Sam or Snipe Wolf? No, I haven't. Yeah, dude, I'm so fucking cool. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with this chick's face? Like, what the fuck, dude? It is so creepy. Like, every single one of her facial features is so fucking over-exaggerated. Like, her cheeks are literally fucking sticking out of her face. Her eyes are fucking massive. Her eyebrows are just odd. Her nose is huge. Her lips are ma Like, bro, every single aspect about her face is, like, overly exaggerated. I don't fucking get it. It's creepy looking. I missed. <laughs> Can you leave me alone? I'm just trying to get my work done. Oh, he's just trying to get his work done. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Bruh. Here, I'll help you. <sighs> wow. Thanks, Pri. I clean this. Jordan the janitor. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Oh, now do it again. What the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Why would you do that? <laughs> What's the big deal? It's your job to clean, isn't it? How would you feel if I did that to you? <laughs> I wouldn't know. My mom's rich, so I'll never have to work a day <clears throat> in my life. Yeah. You fucking peasant. I would have loved it if she said, clean this, and <laughs> she squirted. <laughs> Bruh. Damn. I'm like, your mom? 
Have fun cleaning this up, loser. <laughs> Have fun living the rest of your fucking life looking like that. Toilet's clogged. <laughs> oh, I'm actually off the clock. Aw. All right, I'll tell you what. You make like six bucks an hour? Here's 50 cents for some of your time. Now go clean the toilet, Jordan the janitor. <laughs> you know what, Bree? I used to be a bully too. You see. <gasps> You better clean this up. <laughs> you better clean this up. Oh my fucking god, I hate this bitch. I literally hate this bitch, dude. Everything about her. The world would be better if she wasn't in it. Bree Elizabeth Johnson. Mom? What are you doing here? I heard how you've been treating Jordan. How could you act like that? How did she hear it? Heard from who? Receivable! Hey friends! Let's go outside so we can hang out. Come on! <laughs> what the fuck? Who greets people and goes, Hey friends! Let's go outside so we can talk. What the fuck, dude? Oh, you can go too, honey. So is it true how you've been treating Jordan? No. Uh, she spilled all this water on the floor. Oh, what a fucking little bitch, bro. What a f dude, what a little fucking, I'm sorry. You know, I got to side with her now because this dude just acted like the biggest fucking pussy on planet earth. You really, <laughs> she just spilled this water on the ground. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, bro. You're a fucking loser. Like, Jesus Christ, man. What a fucking pussy. I'm sorry. Like, you're really gonna go fucking whine to her mom? Yeah. You're a bitch. You deserve to be bullied. You're a fucking loser. What? Quiet. What's the big deal? He's just a janitor. How would you- And a fucking massive bitch. Like it if somebody treated you that way. You should- I think she does like it, though. Like, not in the way that, you know, the mom means, but... You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, man. The stream is lit, not gonna lie. I appreciate it, man. I don't know. Never judge someone until you have walked in their shoes. <laughs> You're joking, Facts. Right? Facts. We have money. Okay, I would never be a janitor. That's gross. Agreed. There is no shame in hard work. <laughs> you know what? That's the problem. Dude, why does she have fucking facial hair? Shave! You have never done hard work. <laughs> Bro, you can see it! Ew! <laughs> Bro, I can't shave that shit, shit off! <laughs> That's nasty. So, El Rosario soul with the five. Do you think Darman is tapping Sniper Wolf cheeks? Maybe. Who knows, man? He isn't just telling stories. He's changing lives, so... I don't know. Take that as you will. Special Force 117 with the two. I would slap the shit out of this entitled bitch. I mean, fair enough, man. I don't know. A day in your life. That's gonna change. What are you talking about? You, my dear, are going to be a janitor. So you know how it feels. And you can start by cleaning up this mess you made. What? No, Mom, there's no way I'm going to do that. You don't have a choice. Yeah, I do. It's either that or you are grounded the entire summer. Guess I'm grounded. Come on, Jordan. Let's go hang out with Sniper Wolf. 
Oh, this is so dumb. Bree can't believe what just happened. The next day, Bree has to clean the floor. Why does she have to wear a fucking janitor's outfit? Just wear your normal fucking clothes and use a broom. Like, what the fuck? In between classes, one of the students comes and throws their garbage at her, laughing and calling her names. I bet she liked it, too. Bree is so embarrassed. During lunch, while Bree is picking up the trash, another student dumps their entire tray on the floor. All the kids laugh and stare. Bree gets completely humiliated. And after school, Bro, what the fuck while are Bree boots? is mopping the floor, one of her classmates comes and dumps the entire bucket of water for her to clean up. What a chat. The whole school can't stop laughing. <laughs> Bree's so embarrassed and finally understands what she made Jordan feel like. Dude, I'd throw some fucking hands. And then one day, Bree happens to see Jordan. <laughs> Here you go. 186. I know it's not much, but I hope it helps. It oh, doesn't. Honey, I am so proud of you. This is going to help more than you'll ever know. So powerful, dude. I can't so fucking this powerful. Shit. Jungle Zone with the two. Are you gonna make a video to cap out this trilogy? I may have to, man. I don't know. This is this is some pretty powerful shit. Mom, can you give me a cook set? I'll be right back. Okay. Here. I'll help you. Please don't hit me with that. Bro, he's trying to slot in a little bit more than the DMs. What the fuck? Hit you with it. Why would I do that? I know, man. The boy Jordan is going to clap some cheeks. Easy. I don't know. Because of how I treated you. Look, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I never should have judged you before walking in your shoes. After he's done cleaning this... After he's done cleaning the school, he's going to finish off by cleaning their pipes. Never knew how hurtful it was to be made fun of. Can you please forgive me? Of course. Come on. I'll help you finish. <laughs> Sex. He's going to help her finish, guys. Yeah. She's going to finish. Right? Hey guys, I hope you love that message about... How you should never judge somebody until you've walked in their shoes. I love that. I hope you guys love this message. And please, please remember, we're not just telling Damn. stories. This one was better than the other three because Sniper Wolf was barely in it. Amazing. So, Scammer Steals from Senior Home. So, it's all the old rich people that <laughs> live here. Yep, all old people. Old people. Cool. Really awesome, man. So fucking awesome. So, chainsaw plan with the PLN 10. I want to bully Bree and be bullied by her. All right, man. You do you. I hear she's available. I don't think Jordan's cleaning her pipes anymore people with a lot of money crazy right they have all this cash and nothing to do with them what a waste they should just give it to me and then i can buy that brand new porsche if i'm wanting <laughs> yeah that'd be nice oh you've got mrs hoover she's older and can't speak but don't let that fool you she's still really smart how smart can an old mute lady be <laughs> Oh, hello, Dorothy. I'm Chad, your new caretaker. <laughs> Fucking Chad, bro. 
Hell yeah. Here. I got you some groceries, huh? Okay, I guess I will put them in the fridge. <laughs> Man's really gonna lose his fucking job over a couple hundred dollars? What a fucking moron. Why is the money orange? You're all set, Mrs. Hoover. Is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, I won't disturb you anymore. Have a great day. Bro, how much you want to bet she put the money out to see if he'd take it? <laughs> oh, it's just you. You scared me for a second. How'd you go with Mrs. Hoover? Well... Don't tell anyone, but she's actually my new favorite senior. Look at all this cash I just took from her. Chad, that's stealing. What if she <laughs> finds out? Yeah, no fucking shit. He just said he took it from her. She won't find out. She's so old, she'll probably just forget about it. And if she does find out, she can't tell anyone. It's literally perfect. Look, I don't know, man. My grandma always said what happens in the dark always comes to light. <laughs> These fucking sayings. What happens in the dark always comes to light. Bro, this sounds like some fucking Batman type shit. So we should give it back right now. No offense, dude, but your grandma said? Come on. Besides, it's like you said, they have all this money and nothing to do with it. At least I'm putting it to good use. Check. Hey, Dorothy. Hope you've been well. This package came in for you. Where would you like it? You know what? I'll just put it in your room. Why is he going through her shit? Damn, bro. <coughs> Damn, Granny got the drip. What the fuck? You had a teddy bear come in, so I put it on your bed. Anything else I can do for you, Mrs. Hoover? All right, then I'll get out of your way. You know, Dorothy, I have a feeling that you and I are going to have a great relationship together. Have a fantastic day. <laughs> Dude, he's got the gold fucking chain. I thought you were the boss. <laughs> Check out this new gold chain I got courtesy of. Mrs. Hoover. What? Chad, I can't believe you stole from her Chad. again. <laughs> Look, you should just give it back right now. Oh, no. It's mine now. Hey, I want you to check out this new Porsche. See, I'm thinking if you and I work together, we could have matching dream cars by the end of summer. Are you crazy? Absolutely not. I can't it's afford this shit! Stealing from Mrs. Hoover. <laughs> I can't believe you want to steal from other people, too. The fucking drip, bro. He's going to steal, what, the fucking diamond chain next? Iced out Rolex? What the fuck? You generation of the two? I thought scammers. <laughs> okay, bro. No, no, no. I'm not reading that, but I got you. I got you. That's over the phone, though. I already am. Look at how much I've made in the last two days alone. What? Chad, 
Look, I already told you what happens in the dark always comes to light. Please, just save me the lecture. You are like a broken record, man. What happens in the dark comes to light. Dude, it literally sounds like some fucking shit that Batman would say. Like, what the fuck? Thank you. Now what's in your box? A teddy. Hey. You boys know about movie night happening in a few hours? Uh, uh, no. Uh, what's it for? I don't know. Mrs. Hoover set it up. All the seniors will be attending. <laughs> Can one of you work it? Wait. Everyone will be there? As in, no one will be in their houses? Um, no, I guess not. Why? Oh, Dennis can work it. I'm, I'd love to, but unfortunately I'm busy tonight. Um, yeah, sure. <sighs> Thanks, Dennis. Oh, someone ordered those for every resident. Would you mind uh, delivering them to everyone? I, I, I can actually do that. You know, it's the least I can do since I can't work the movie tonight. Dude, this is perfect. I'll use the dumb <laughs> bears as an excuse to scope out each person's apartment, and then I can find out where they keep all their valuables. No, Chad, that's not right. Oh, come on, stop being such a scary cat. All you have to do is keep them busy during the movie while I go rob these geezers blind. No, Bro, no, this is like some fucking not. heist movie shit. Like, what the fuck? Guessing they're all cameras too? Got 50 on it? Maybe, man. I could see it. Miss Hoover ordered them all. Because remember, she's smart. I'm not getting involved in this. You don't have a choice. Because if I get caught, I'll just lie and tell them that you are in on it with me. So let's go treasure hunting. The ultimate heist. I don't know, man. This thing really creeps me out. Oh. oh, hello, Mrs. Hoover. All right, everyone. Okay, this last one. The movie Mrs. Hoover brought is about to start. Oh. <laughs> Please have a seat. So I found out where they're keeping all their cash and jewels. You make sure they just. Why is this fucking boss so excited about a bunch of old people getting together to watch a fucking movie? No, no, Jack. Please, it's not worth it. Look, we can get our cars the honest way. Just keep working hard and eventually you'll become managers like Hugo. I'm not very good at this thing. Oh, oh, for what? So we can pick up trash up off the floor? Yeah, all right, man. Give me a break. I'd rather make money the easy way. Jack, wait. Hello, sir. All the teddy bears are in their residences. Hmm. This one was actually an extra. Anyways, I, I, I would love to stay, but my, my grandma's sick and I take care of her after work. Wow. That's very nice of you, Chad. Hey, you're such a good guy. I mean, what can I say? I guess yeah, Chad truly is. Taking care of seniors is in my blood. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Hello, everyone. We're going to go ahead and play a movie, courtesy of Mrs. Hoover. All right. <laughs> Turn up the volume. I can't hear anything. I'm sorry. Looks like the TV isn't turning on. Man, what is this? The batteries must be dead. Um, sorry, guys. Let me go try to find some new batteries. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry. So what's going on? <laughs> This dude thinks he's gonna get a Porsche stealing 200 bucks from like 10 different people. Yeah, for sure, man. Fucking $200 times 10, bro. You're gonna have what? Two grand? You're not even getting the fucking first month's lease payment on a fucking Porsche. They're starting to get impatient. I know, sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. I don't understand. Is that Dorothy's apartment? 
What is this? Dorothy. Is this what I think it is? Chad stole your gold chain? Oh shit, not the video? ice. Ice. What about the ice? Oh. A video camera inside the bear's eyes? <laughs> hey, that's my apartment. And my watch. Is this life? <laughs> I can't believe this. I thought you said you had to help your grandma. Uh, boss, I, I do. I mean, I, I did. You, you see, it's just... Save it! I know you've been stealing. <laughs> we got it all on tape. I'm calling the police. No, 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 please. Please, stop, stop, stop. Okay, it, it wasn't my idea, all right? It was Dennis's. What? He's the one that made me do this. Come with me. <laughs> Bruh. Appreciate what you did. It was a big deal. This is so fucking Thief! You stole from us! Give it back. I saw you take my watch. I'm <laughs> Bruh. So fucking corny. I'm really sorry about this, everyone. Thief! You're all going to get your stuff back. This and whatever else was stolen, I promise. <laughs> and I'm gonna see to it that we press full charges. Bro, Chad, Chad is fucking yeah. scared and shitless. What? what? For what they did. What? What? Dennis. Me? But I didn't do anything. Now stop lying. No, this this was all your idea. If you don't want that stupid Porsche, I never would have gotten into this mess. What? No, this all happened because you wanted it. He was the real reason. No, no, you know that's not how it went, okay? They're over here. Both of them have been stealing. We have it all on tape. Please, arrest them. Damn. He made me do it. Look, look, I'm innocent. I had nothing to do with this. No, you're a liar. He's the one that put me on the Ma'am, please stand back. This man's a criminal. Dorothy. Dennis was involved in stealing your things. Chad told me the entire idea was his. Oh, come on, stop being such a scaredy cat, man. All you have to do is keep him busy during the movie while I go rob these geezers blind. No, absolutely not. I'm not getting involved in this. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Jesus because Christ, I'm man. I'll just tell them that you're the one that put me up to it. See? I had nothing to do with this. I even tried to stop him. Wow. You really are a piece of work, Chad. I can't believe you even tried to blame Dennis. You should really know that what happens in the dark always comes to light. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ, dude. It just keeps getting worse. Take them away. Come on. Please take those off of them. No. Sure. No, 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 please. Please, you can't do this to me. Please, I said I'd give it all back. I'm very sorry for the misunderstanding. Thanks for helping us get the real guy. No problem, but I really had nothing to do with this. It was all Mrs. Hoover. She's the real hero. You know, I could really use a guy like you in upper management. What do you say? <laughs> what? Really? Oh my god, thank you so much. You have no idea what this means to me. No. Thank you for being so honest. He didn't even do anything. 
What the fuck did he even do? He literally just said, yeah, I didn't do it. So he gets promoted for saying, yeah, I didn't do it. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, this is so gay. Oski Woski with the two. Would you ever realistically have a meet and greet? I don't know, to be honest. Like, if I were to do it, it'd be at, like, an event. I don't know, but then I'd have the face reveal, so it would probably be contingent on that. But, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Just depends. I can't afford this shit! It's <sighs> so gross. Chat? <laughs> Bro, man's pulling up in a Porsche working at a fucking nursing home? He's the real crook. What the fuck? Dennis? <laughs> oh my gosh, is that your car? Yeah. After he got fired, they made me manager. So I just picked her up last week. That should be mine. Mrs. Hoover didn't catch me on tape. I tried to tell you. The elderly are smarter than they may seem. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, anyways, man, you deserve it. Congrats. Hey, look. I know how bad you wanted one. Um, wanna hop in and go for a ride? Really? I would love to. <laughs> I'm supposed to stay and finish picking up all this trash, but they'll never find out. <laughs> Bro, he steals it. Facts. So, SYS Lewis with the shit. two, meet and greet, just wear masks like swagger souls. I don't know, man. I don't know. Just depends. Like, where the fuck would I even do it, though? I don't know. It's kind of a tough thing to think about, I guess. I don't know. But after this one, we'll do one more, and then I'm probably going to go to sleep. I'm kind of tired. It's like 5 a.m. shit. Actually, if I've learned anything, it's that what happens in the dark always comes to light. So I should probably stay and finish my shift. Sounds like some good advice. Proud of you, man. Thanks. I guess I've actually learned my lesson. See you at the top one day. Let's gather around for a photo with the bride and groom. One. All right, one more. So which one are we on now? Coach kicks a gay athlete off the team. <laughs> oh, right. God. Five seconds left and we're down by two. All we need is a three-pointer. What should we do, Coach Brown? Hit the ball to Liam. Come here. Listen, the game is in your hands, son. You make this shot, we're going to game seven in the championship. All right? Bring it in. One on three. One, two, three. Wait. Come on. Let's go! <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> oh God, here it comes. William! Where are you at, Garrison? You've never beaten me. But you thought you were gonna win today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he brought his gay pride fucking towel? What the fuck, dude? Rainbow towel. Huh? Trying to embarrass me here? No, no, no of course. Of course. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this shit? Oh my fucking god. Rackenzie with the two. Why can't gay athlete 
when they're good with balls? I don't fucking know, man. It's a good question. You have to ask him. Oski Woski with the two. New York Comic Con would be a good option, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to go to Comic Con. I'd probably do like PAX or shit. something like that. It'd probably be a better fit. I can't afford this shit! I thought everybody knew that I was gay. I don't want to hear it. No. On my team, gay cannot play. <laughs> I can put this in freaking hell. <laughs> and don't you ever disrespect me. You got that? Yes. I'm sorry. Gay cannot play. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come tomorrow in the finals, that championship trophy is ours. But great game. Yeah. Hey, Liam. Why was Coach so upset with you? Uh, he didn't like my little gay pride tribute. Hey, keep it back. <laughs> <laughs> keep it back. <laughs> nope. Oh. Yeah, just like on the phone real quick. <laughs> hey! What's going on here? I thought I told you to get rid of that thing. Well, it's not my fault. You see, the guys will just... Shh. I don't think it makes much sense for you to change in here anymore. <laughs> What are you talking about? This is oh, the locker room. I've always changed it. Yeah, well, that's before I found out about you. Now, let me make something clear. You may be on the same team as us on the court. I can't afford this But you are not on the same team as us off. <laughs> Get out. Coach, come, Coach, come on. on. Quiet. He's lucky I'm even letting him play tomorrow. Out. <laughs> changing the girls' locker room. I know, man. Oh my god. See you again tomorrow. Bro, I think the coach. Dude, how much you guys want to bet the fucking coach is like gay or some shit? And he's like trying to resist his urges to like butt fuck this dude. Oh, Liam! So glad that I found you. Hi, I'm from Sports Daily. So, how are you feeling about tomorrow's championship game? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good, I guess. Well, I hear there's going to be some college scouts there. Do you think you'll get a scholarship? I sure hope so. You know, that'd be my dream. To play for a team like UCLA. Liam! Um, hey! <laughs> that shot was amazing! Thanks! <laughs> Hello, uh, uh, is he your... Oh, uh, boyfriend. Oh, 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 well, in that case, do you think I could get a picture of the two of you? It's for the cover. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's fine. Wonderful. No, stop, stop. No, no, no. No photos. He just said I could. So. I don't care. Interview is over. Toots. <laughs> Toots. What the? Bro, is this like a fucking 1940s stereotype? Yeah, back off, Toots. Like, what the fuck? Oh, my fucking God, dude. You, wait here. Trying to make me look bad? No, why would I do that? <laughs> then why are you going around trying to tell the whole world that you're gay? Fuck. You know what? I can't do this anymore. You're off the team. What? But, but tomorrow's the big championship game and I'm your best player. You can't do that. We're my best player. That is before I found out about you. <laughs> I don't need you on my team to win. And on my team, like I said earlier, gay cannot play. <laughs> Please, no, don't do this. No, I really <laughs> thought you'd go to college. Like a good one. Maybe even the NBA. Once people find out about you, no one's gonna want you, man. Maybe you should just be a cheerleader or something. <laughs> Dude, why has Darman's videos gotten so fucking good recently? These are fucking gold. Holy shit. <laughs> These are fucking hilarious, dude. I don't know, man. He stepped up the production quality a lot better. Like, what the fuck? Hey. Okay. I, uh, saw all that. I'm sorry. You sure you are? I bet you're throwing him off the team and won't be playing tomorrow. Nope. 
No, no, I'm not. I feel terrible about the way he just treated you. No one should be made to feel that way. Whatever. It doesn't matter. My career in basketball is over. No team's gonna want me because I'm gay. That's not true. I How want would you, you? Well, Because I want you to come play on my team. What? What? Really? Is that even allowed? Yeah, sure it is. And to be honest, it would be an absolute honor to have you. Uh. Oh, and uh, you know what? For all that it is worth, you can use whatever towel you'd like. Okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, um, I guess I'll think about that. Even mine. Liam leaves with the coach's words on his mind. The next day at the final championship game, Liam was nowhere to be found. The blue team gets an early lead, scoring basket after basket. <laughs> By the time the first half is over, the blue team already has a 10 point lead. Oh, shit. Just as things weren't looking too good for the red team, in the second half, they start making a major comeback and eventually cut the blue team's lead down to just two points with seconds remaining. Oh, and is Liam going to show up in the last second? Come on, come on. Keep the enthusiasm up. Stay with me. We got sink a fucking oh, dirty three. Man. Hey, look, it's Liam. Hey, what are you doing here, man? I thought I told you. Take I know. Don't worry. I'm not playing for you. I'm playing for Coach Garrison instead. No, 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 no. You can't do no. Rep. I just cut this kid from my team yesterday. Now he's gonna go play for the other side. Oh he can't do that. God, it's against the rules, man. right? Actually, there's no rule against that. He's allowed to play. Double team lead, okay? Whatever it takes, do not let that sissy boy score. <laughs> Don't let the sissy boy score. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my fucking god, man. This is the longest timeout I've ever seen, too. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, Special Force 117 with two twos. More political preaching that no one cares about. And Rainbow Six Siege switching <laughs> sides. Bro, I don't know what the fuck this shit is. This is just... This is like one of the better Darman episodes I feel like I've seen. Bro, what the fuck? Come on, guys. You got that? We have never lost to these clowns. And we're not going to lose to them today. All right? Let's get it together. Let's go. Let's go. One, three. One, two, three. Play. Oh, shit. It's down to the wire. Yeah. What the fuck? Why did he show up in the last five seconds, though? Great shot, Liam. It's a great shot. No, it's just too bad, you know, that that was the last one. What are you talking about, man? Oh, come on. When people see him for who he is, colleges aren't going to take him seriously. He's not going to get recruited. Hey, that's not true, okay? Don't listen to him. 
Well, then where are the recruiters? Where are they? I don't see any. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea. Liam, great performance. I mean, I can't believe you did that two days in a row. Thanks. Um, sorry, I don't know who you are. Oh, sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. Coach Nick Ronan from UCLA. And I'd love to talk to you about coming to play with us. Oh my God. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. What, wait. Coach Ronan, I'm Coach Brown. I'm sure you know who I am. There's something that uh, Liam, I think he would like to share with you about himself. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's that? I can't oh, afford man. this shit! Tell him. Oh you my god. That you don't want. I'm gay. Okay. So? So? What do you mean so? You're gonna recruit him? <laughs> well, just because- Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, don't you have something you want to tell him? I'm gay. Okay. I don't know, man. Yeah, he recruited him because he saw him play for like 10 seconds. UCLA must be fucking desperate. So, simply small engine repair with the two. I'm late. Yeah, just a little bit, man. Just, you know, five hours, five minutes and 47 seconds. But it's all good, bro. No worries. Because you're gay doesn't mean you can't play. <laughs> now, as I was saying, UCLA has a great program. I really think you'd love it there. Oh, I know all about UCLA's basketball program. I mean, I've always wanted to be a Bruin, like, ever since I was a little kid. Awesome. <laughs> hey. Coach Garrison? <laughs> How am I going to get canceled, bro? Who's going to cancel me? <laughs> Who's going to fucking cancel me? Like, what am I going to get canceled for? For grooming? Oh, shit. My bad. Special Force 117 with the two. He's coming out of the closet, guys. Bro, I don't know. I think the towel is well beyond that point. You're canceled? Fuck, man. Zephyr is going to cancel me? Damn. What a way to go. Your Amazon order canceled you? Yeah, they did. They canceled all my fucking Pokemon card orders. Fuck Amazon. Everyone ignoring how Griffin's server is at 200 times the risk of getting canceled. What the fuck you mean? My server is pretty tame for a public Discord server, to be honest. I don't know, man. Good night, Griffin. I can't with the Darn Man anymore. Yeah, we're. I'm gonna call it the night, man. It's like 5:20 for me, so I think I am gonna go to sleep.